I cheated. We both cheated. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna go back to your favorite kind of videos. So on my Instagram story, I asked you guys, what are your favorite YouTube videos for me to upload? And pretty much everyone said, what I eat in a day, day in the life, fitness stuff, and just like seeing me, Kurt, and Fox. So today is gonna be like a full day of eating, but there's a twist. A weird twist. So today is going to be a plant-based eating day. Let's sit at the conference table, aka the dining yes. table. Okay, how do we make this like not a, cause this is gonna get blown out of proportion, but this is for fun. What is for fun? Like what we're doing is for fun. Oh no, like, I'm being very serious. No, 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 but you know what I mean? Like people, there's gonna be certain people in here that are like- Like vegans? Shut, no. <laughs> the other day, Kurt was like, let's watch a movie. You guys know, I'm not really a movie person. I don't really like TV. So we settled, we compromised on a documentary and we watched this documentary called- Game Changer movie or something like that? I don't know, it's on iTunes. Yeah. We will pop a little thumbnail of it here. Yeah. And basically it's about like plant-based athletes. And we just thought it was really interesting. Like I've watched a bunch of documentaries. Like everyone always asks me, uh. because I'm paleo-based, they're like, have you seen what the hell? Oh, or whatever it's called. I'm like, yes, yeah. I have. So anyway, we watched this documentary and we thought it was really interesting. And we don't want to eat plant-based forever. We don't want to turn vegan, whatever. Yeah. But we were like, let's see how we go eating plant-based for the week and just see how we feel. I just think it's fun challenging myself to eat plant-based for every meal. It just gives me like an extra cooking challenge and more motivation in the kitchen. We eat meat majority of the meals. Like yeah, we'll have or eggs. meat and then we'll have veg with it. Like yeah. we eat a lot of it. So just sort of, I guess, changing our thought process and just eating a little less was gonna be the, the end goal for this, right? Like yeah, not our, eating as much of it. Our long-term goal we think from this experiment is to increase our plants and still implement like grass-fed beef and organic eggs and free-range chicken into our diet, but just have less of it and rely heavily on plants. We have been doing this for the past like four days. I cheated. We both cheated. <laughs> so we started off really well, okay? We were like having like vegan falafels yeah. and all that stuff. And then we ordered a takeaway falafel bowl and we forgot it came with a poached egg and like we didn't want to waste it. So and I love, we, we love eggs. I love eggs. So we ate the poached egg. Yeah. And then yesterday we went out for brunch as well and our meals came with poached salmon. Yeah. So I ate that too. <laughs> but we did have vegan tacos last night for dinner. So anyway, we ended up going grocery shopping. If we are gonna do this, we need to have our house fully stocked, prepared, with plant-based foods. And so, we may have went overboard with our grocery shop. We definitely did. We spent so much on groceries. Yeah, we always think, <laughs> oh, our grocery bill was so expensive this week because we bought so much like turkey and yeah. chicken. And uh, like the meat we buy is very expensive because we invest in our health. So we thought that's why our grocery bill is often expensive. However, we go to Woolworth and we're like, okay, cool. This is all plant-based. It's not gonna be that expensive. We're just gonna get heaps of lettuce. Oh, Let's just man. cut. Uh, I did a mini <laughs> little iPhone clip. So let's just cut to that. How do you feel about that grocery haul? That was expensive. That was the most expensive groceries we've ever yeah, done. It really was. And we were like, oh, it's going to be cheap because we don't have any meat in there. No. Nah, Are you kidding me? Who knew how expensive like falafels, tofu, black beans? It was the dips. <laughs> I got a lot of hummus. But we did buy almond butter. Yeah. Yes. $470. <laughs> but again, we didn't really try to do it on the cheap. We didn't even look at prices. Yeah. We, we got too and, excited. And we got to the checkout and we saw the price and we're like, <gasps> Crap, we have that, to pay this now. Because everything's in the cold <laughs> aisle. I don't want to run it back. So I was yeah. like, credits? <laughs> yeah. So don't think like, we don't usually pay that much for a week's worth of groceries. Like that is outrageous to pay that much. But it's this stupid. will last us a long time, right? I hope so. This is not a vegan video. This is not us turning vegan. This is literally just an experiment, a fun thing, encouraging us to eat more plants and fruit and vegetables and whole foods. Okay, so again, just don't judge me, okay? I can't deal with YouTube judgment right now. I'm emotional. This is definitely where it got expensive dips. Like dips are expensive. So we got two things of hummus. We got some eggplant dip and beetroot no, hummus. hummus. And if I don't have snacks, that's when I get derailed. And that's when I'm like, I'm not doing this anymore. It's too hot. So we needed a lot of snacks. I couldn't find any like organic good salsa anywhere. So I ended up having to get this one. We bought a watermelon. I like it if it has lemon on top, but like whatever. This is eggs from last week. Okay. So don't stress. We haven't had them yet. We also got this dairy-free Parmesan. I'm obsessed with this. It is vegan. And this is actually from the health food store. We've had this for a while. Big loaves of tofu. I like the firm tofu the most. This is probably my favorite source of vegan protein. I also got some silken tofu because I think I want to do maybe like a faux soup or something. We've got loads of berries. We've already had like three punnets of this because we just smash 
through punnets and berries like crazy. We also, I thought these were fun. I've never had this before. This pasta and it's 19 grams of protein per serve. So it's just green pea legume powder and water. I need to try that one out. I think that'll be fun. Me too. Cherry tomatoes, some pre-spiralized zucchini, but usually I'll just do it myself. Beetroots, like pre-cooked beets. This whole section is vegetables. In here, loads and loads of veggies. These are like my new favorite squashes. Squash, yellow squash. Mm. Fresh herbs, they're the key to zhuzhing up your meals, making them not boring. And so, PS people, before you grill us about having heaps of plastic, it all comes in this yeah. in our grocery market, like yeah. supermarket. So whenever I show my fridge, I get a lot of hate about plastic, but it's the only way that you can buy this kind of stuff at our grocery store. And we do try to make it to the farmer's market every now and then, but sometimes it's not realistic for us because it's only on a Saturday morning in like a three hour period and maybe Fox is asleep. So just like refrain your hate. We really try. Then we bought, again, this is where the price went and I realized afterwards when I looked at the receipt and I was like, this is very expensive. So eventually I'm gonna make my own, but just for now we were like, let's just stock Let's the... just try them out. So black bean and beetroot falafels, zucchini and lentil falafels. You can totally make your own, like I said, which I'm going to. We bought like three of these, the beetroot burgers, coconut milk, herbs, and we already have everything else. We already have like seeds and nuts and things like that. Oh my gosh, cupboard. my cupboard. It's really messy and I pride, I pride myself on having an organized house and an organized cupboard. And you guys would know, I filmed two pantry organization videos, but, um, ready? Okay, dying, I know it's the worst. Do, <laughs> There's do, do, do. no structure at all. <laughs> Those roasted chickpeas. We also bought these buckwheat crisp breads. I love, love, love these. Usually I put ham on them, but now we're just doing like avocado, and, and <laughs> that's it. <laughs> no, I tomato. You can put some tofu on there if you want. Like yeah. This is probably, oh my gosh, it's so messy. It's giving me anxiety. So we went hardcore on the lentils and the beans. So we've got organic chickpeas. I've got butter beans, red kidney beans, brown lentils, black beans, buckwheat spirals. Oh, I love buckwheat spirals. I love black bean spaghetti. So we have like loads of spices. I'm going to miss honey. We're not having honey for now. Almond Brazil and cashew spread. Again, I'm going to make this myself in my Vitamix. And then some almond spread we obviously have loads of sweet potatoes and things like that it seems like we only got a little bit but our trolley like no. we had the big trolley and it was completely full why. of stuff i remember why oh that's right organic blueberries yeah we bought like five packs of these because we have this every single night we have a kind of like cereal and then i also bought some frozen banana just in case i couldn't find any ones that were ripe enough to freeze that's kind of it so breakfast time i'm probably gonna have some oats or something maybe you're gonna have oats i'm more of a savory person right now for breakfast so let me stew in it and I'll come back and I will make my delicious plant-based breakfast with you. This is Fox's new party yeah. trick. You gonna show people your party trick? Oh. Oh, good one! Yay! Yay, Foxy Boy! Ready? Man. <gasps> That's very cute. Alright, back to mom. Where do you think honey comes from? Plants. Are you serious? It's nectar. No, honey comes from bees. Bees eat nectar. Yeah, well. Kurt, you could have had this. What? You could have used coconut nectar. I don't know these things. I'm the uneducated swine. Yeah, Fox doesn't approve. So I'm not quite ready for lunch. I think I might want to go to the gym soon. So I'm just going to have a snack. And I have a bad habit of like snacking too hardcore on snack foods. So instead, I think I'm going to make like a fruit salad with some nuts and seeds. I think that's like more of a wholesome whole food snack rather than just having like a packet of Thank chickpeas. Thank you, a packet of chickpeas. Because I'll eat the whole packet, 100%. And when I edit, when I'm like sitting on the computer, I like to have a water next to me and something to snack on. So I think fruit will be perfect right now.
Okay, so I'm still editing my thumbnail and gonna be honest guys, I'm still hungry. This isn't a plant-based or vegan issue. This is a SESI issue. I'm always hungry. I eat a lot of food. I'm just like, I have a fast metabolism and I'm just used to eating so much food. That's why I purposely put nuts and seeds and more calorically dense, higher, healthy fat foods in that snack. That didn't even scrape the edges, man. I could literally eat like 20 bowls of curry or something heavy right now. I'm so hungry. But before I go and make lunch, I'm going to make myself have like a big glass of water to make sure I'm not thirsty instead of hungry. You know when it's like your body can often mistake thirst for hunger. So before you go and have like another meal, make sure you have some water. If I know me and I think I do, I am hungry. So I'm gonna go have some water and then you'll see me in like two minutes complaining that I'm hungry and I do want lunch. All right guys, we just finished the podcast with our friend Sammy. You guys might remember him from the New Zealand vlog. Hey, again. And Sammy asked if he can try a body balloon. I just see it in your stories and like, it's just, it looks like bone, like broth powder. Like, it, it doesn't look looks, like bone broth. It looks like beef stock powder or something. It looks like horrible. And then it just goes this beautiful. It's oh. true, I'll, I will show you. It, it blossoms, it's blossoms. It, it's it, like, it blooms. <laughs> 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 so yeah, I guess like, okay, the packaging looks beautiful, but you're like, oh, what's that going to turn yeah. into? All right. You have to do the water first, because if you do the powder first and then the water, it can get stuck in the bottom. And because it is a pro and prebiotic, you have to keep mixing it. So ah. people say, why is it, why is the sediment down the bottom? It's because it's a pre and probiotic. So you need you to keep that. mixing it, teaspoon, and then I kind of flatten it out a little bit, like that. Okay. From bone broth on, looking on sludge. Oh. Bam! Bam, the pink goodness. <laughs> oh! Na, na, oh. Na, na, Prepare to bloom. <laughs> <laughs> so basically have this every morning because I just really feel like it helps with my digestion. Just one heap tablespoon. No, 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 flatten it a little uh, bit. Ah, yeah, you flatten it a little bit. It doesn't look like much. It kind of looks like beef stock powder. <laughs> In we go. It's vegan. <laughs> Make a little vortex and there you bloom. <laughs> Thank me later. Cheers. <laughs> you know the slogan? Yeah, of course right, I do. It's on the lid, it's on the lid, it's on the lid. Of course I do. It's on the lid. Bringing the balance back to beauty. Exactly, life's all about balance. <laughs> all about balance. If you drink this and drink alcohol, it just, you don't get a hang hangover. It's not <laughs> <laughs> you can ask them. <laughs> Okay, it's finally lunchtime. I'm so hungry. Like, you know when your stomach is grumbling so loud that everyone can hear it? When I was podcasting, you could literally hear it on the mic. That's how hungry I am. I was gonna make this for dinner, but I kind of want to try it now. How do you even say that? Casar, Casaris, Casar. Normally I'm a good reader, but I have no idea. It's basically legume pasta. Simply cook al dente three to four minutes. Yes. <laughs> This, but we would have it with turkey mince or beef mince. Um, but this time we didn't do the buckwheat pasta, we did the legume green pea pasta. And that's because it had like it was it high in protein, good. right? Yeah, it's just not as bendy and like soft as pasta, but just it's the like the texture is a little bit different, that's like, all. Fully hits that craving. You guys know normally I cut everything up myself and I make all my pasta sauces myself, but this is like I guess more of a realistic view of how you can quickly make lunch or quickly make dinner. Um, because I totally understand that people are time poor. I'm time poor, and you don't always have time to make your own pasta sauce and like cut up your vegetables. That took me under 10 minutes. This is good. I also have a confession. What? When we went grocery shopping, I bought two bars. Yeah. Like I bought a caramel vegan protein bar and a chocolate one. And I had the caramel one because I'm like a caramel girl and he's a chocolate guy. Mm. So I was like, oh, I had the caramel one yesterday. I left the chocolate one for you. Do you eat the whole chocolate? Is there any left at all? No. Why? <laughs> I'm real. I felt really bad. I hit it. <laughs> I'm really sad. I was looking forward to I know. I'm going to go out and get you another one. Was I'm it good at least? It was really good. 
<laughs> so I have this. I've never it was had really good. I'm actually really sad about that. Surprisingly, I think I like this one better than the caramel one. Nutty Bruce roasted peanut and chocolate nut butter bar. It has 21 grams of sugar in it, but it's natural sugar, so it comes from dates. Who cares? We don't count macros here anyway. Whatever. We don't count macros. We just we just eat real food, people. So I'll go out and buy you another one. All right. Thank you. Right Welcome to Foxy's day. Hello everybody. It's me, Fox. I don't know why I have this, but oh, okay, there's his real hands exposed. So the sun's about to go down, it's like five o'clock, but we are gonna go for a little walk. We're ready to go. Are you excited to go? This is a bit of a challenge. Abby knows we're going, that's why she's crying. I don't count calories, I don't track macros, but the last time I counted my calories for fun, just for you guys to like tell you guys, I think I was at like almost 3,000 calories, but keep in mind I am breastfeeding. So I breastfeed Fox every four hours. So my body is like always kind of working to make milk. So therefore I am burning more calories. I need to eat more food. I don't care about calories, but I just listen to my body and I'm always hungry. So I eat all the time. But we need to go because the sun's about to go down. Should we bring you guys? Come on. This is my favorite kind of weather. I'm weird like this. It's like sunny, but stormy clouds. So it's like nice that you can like enjoy life, but I love stormy sky. Oh yeah. <laughs> I love storms <laughs> so much. I used to want to be a storm chaser. You know people who are like in the vans and they chase like tornadoes and stuff? Like yeah. a tornado chaser. Even though we don't really have tornadoes where we live. That's okay. That's okay. You can still have a good time. Why are you not happy? Why are you not having a good time? Hmm? You're tired. Oh, 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 yeah, mum, dancing mums, dancing mums, dancing mums, oh, yeah, mums, dancing with their babies, oh, yeah, 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 get it, girl, oh, yeah, Ugh. looking fly, bro. This bruh. is like, you know, like front squats with the bar? Yeah, go and do some. This is like a 10 kilo. Get him, mum. <laughs> <laughs> I love your new thing. Always, always cares about the camera. Fox. Box into the mouth, into the mouth. Over. I'm coming to get you. Dinner time. Usually, like most people, we have like a savory dinner, something like a paleo based pasta, burgers, burritos. But tonight, because I had that bolognese for lunch, I'm just feeling like something sweet and fresh. Sweet tooth, my sugar craving is peaking. My go to dessert right now, but I'm just gonna skip it and have it for dinner. Step one is pick a frozen fruit. I'm going to do two. I'm gonna do frozen blueberries. I do a lot. So these are organic frozen blueberries. Like, I pretty much do the whole bowl. And then I'm going to do some frozen banana. And I like it frozen because I eat it a little bit slower than not frozen. I don't know, and it makes like the nut milk go more thick and slushy. I just prefer it frozen. As you can see, like this is a very big bowl and the entire thing's full. And then I add coconut milk. And sometimes I have protein powder in there or I have like, <gasps> do I have this protein milk? Hold up people, yes I do, damn it. Okay, let's just like sip some of that out. But it's a milk, it's called like milk. For my source of fiber and omega-3s, I'm going to add some chia seeds. And the order of this is very important because the chia seeds, you want them to have time to like absorb the moisture, absorb some of the milk. I'm gonna use a whole heaped tablespoon. Now we want a source of crunch. Crunch, 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 crunch. Ooh, yeah, let's add some cacao nibs to this. Then let's add shredded coconut. And yeah, YOLO, we'll add a fair amount of my deluxe mix. Two times in one day, this is pretty much the norm. And then I just kind of let that sit for a bit until the chia seeds are absorbed. But the key is, I like things super, super sweet. So like for a normal person, this might be okay. But I want to die of sweetness. I'm going to add some liquid stevia drops. And this one is a special... Move out of the way. Oh. Nicky boy coming oh, through. Oh, you had a bath. Woohoo! Yes. Alright, let's go, let's go. Ooh, look at this rainbow goodness. This is dinner 
I know it may look really weird, but I swear I'm obsessed with it. It's so delicious. Kind of having a bowl of ice cream slash cereal. Now I've even got Kurt obsessed. Kurt, don't you love this as well? That's uh, so good. Yeah. We're obsessed. I'm um, pretty sure every single vlog I ever film, like I forget to make an ending clip, like I forget to close it out. The update on the plant-based experience. Oh, also I must admit and warn you, green legume pasta probably, actually definitely won't be buying that again because it literally made Kurt and I both so gassy that night. It was a fart fest in the bedroom, let me just say that. Plant-based week was fun, but like I said, it was just like to encourage us to incorporate more plant-based meals into our diet, but we are still paleo-based. I know the nature of this video, there's gonna be so much hate in the comments. Unfortunately, reality, whatever, that's okay with me. I have thick skin, people, thick skin. Since that experience, we have been incorporating more like black beans, more tofu, I guess. And make sure you subscribe because I upload new videos every single week. I will continue to do more what I eat in a days or do project comeback stuff because I am back on track with project comeback. I have so many photo shoots coming up, so I really need to like be on top of eating healthy and my training routine. And we're obviously renovating our house that we just bought. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.